threat to the nation that his predecessor often catered to and even helped fund. He took the slogan Make America Great Again in his heart for a better America. We've seen it in his every action and assertive move, but tackling terrorism in a big way is his loftiest goal yet and another accomplishment he can check off his list. And Trump got huge success against the terrorism as he is winning by taking major players into custody and ending the Islamic State that grew under his predecessor. Last month one of the best successful American presidents, Trump, made a major capture and now just two weeks later he's done it again. For his strict attempt one of the most notorious Muslim terrorists is now facing the most powerful leader in the world, as ISIS as he knows it has almost completely dissipated in Iraq. The captured white beard man is responsible for one of the most horrific events known since the rise of ISIS. According to The Sun reports, one of ISIS's most feared executioners has been captured by Iraqi security forces, according to reports the Jihadi Kingpin, nicknamed Whitebeard is said to have presided over dozens of killings in the terror group's former stronghold of Mosul. According to Al Bite News Agency, now the bearded killer has been nabbed after locals revealed his hiding place in the city, the Sikh Jihadi, identified as Abu Omar, was one of the terror group's most fearsome henchmen. He was reportedly present when homosexuals were thrown from buildings and victims beheaded and stoned to death for minor offenses. The evil terror boss is allegedly seen in several sick execution videos filmed before the group's self-proclaimed caliphate in Syria and Iraq collapsed. In one such clip from March 2015, three men accused of homosexuality and blasphemy are forced to their knees and publicly beheaded. The blindfolded men are seen kneeling in the center of what appears to be a roundabout in front of a crowd of people as a masked executioner stands by with a long, rusty blade. An elderly man that appears to be Omar addresses the crowd as the executioner positions his sword above the men's heads in the unnamed city in northern Iraq. Other snaps seem to show him inspecting a pile of rocks ahead of a brutal public stoning. Now the bad days of the Muslim terrorist have faded away and ISIS is shrinking out of existence. Was Obama assertive enough to do it? Obviously not. This is only possible by our tactful brave president. We are really lucky to have such a president like Trump. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.